Yep. Alright, like a nice little like just multiverse movie, like that's cool. What the f That's about it. What? Yo, what is going on guys, it's Seo, I hope you guys enjoyed those intro clips, and boy is it good to be back. I wanted to drop a How to Snipe video because I did it on Vanguard and you guys loved it. I'm going to be going through so many things, what goes through my head when I snipe, what goes through other top snipers heads when they snipe, basically going to give you guys all these tips to transition from Cold War or Vanguard, whatever you're playing, to MW2. So the first thing we're going to be going over when it comes to this video, we're going to actually be going over the aim assist, and don't worry to all the KBAM users, I'm going to be going over controller and KBAM and all the tips that I have. As you guys know, I play both, I'm consistent on both, so I'm going to give you guys all the tips that you need. We're going to go over your sensitivity. So sensitivity, it's all basically preference. I personally like running a higher sensitivity. I don't like max sensitivity in this game, but 1414 seems to be pretty dang good for me. Now guys, what we're going to go over is our aim assist type. So I run the default aim assist, just traditional Call of Duty. I personally like it the most, but honestly, you guys might like some others. As you guys can see, precision is strong aim slowdown that only kicks in when aiming closer to a target, best for the accurate players. Focusing is strong aim slowdown that also kicks in when narrowly missing a target, best for the new players when it comes to controller. Then we're going to talk about Black Ops. Black Ops is just traditional aim slowdown near targets used in Black Ops games, so like Cold War and all the other games that are out there. Now guys, I can't stress this enough, in my personal opinion, dynamic aim response curve type is honestly the best you could use. It makes it where it's actually moving with your thumbs. It's nothing like just, you know, stiff or anything like that. Dynamic is, in my opinion, a must. Then we're going to do the input dead zones. Now, all you're going to do is you're going to take the minimum, and the best way to do this is, as, if you could see, I have no stick drift right now. I have no stick drift right now, nothing. Stop that. I have no stick drift right here or in anything. So basically, take your right stick and try to make it have, like, stick drift and move it up by one every single time that you get stick drift. All right, now guys, we're gonna actually get into the sniping aspect. I know I was kinda, so first thing I'm gonna bring up is drag scoping. Now, a lot of you people know what drag scoping is. A lot of you guys know what flicking is, whatever you wanna call it. What drag scoping is, is you are aimed away from a target and you see the target, so you flick over to him. You're running up and you just flick over to it. That's what drag scoping is. I'll show you on a bot just to show you guys exactly how it works. As you can see, I'm away from a target. I flip o flick over to him. Just like that. Drag scoping is a huge thing when it comes to sniping. A lot of people do it. Personally, I'm more of a center guy, but all it is is you just away from a target and you just flick over your scope. Just like that. The reason you're able to do that is based off the aim assist you guys chose, obviously. Whichever is most comfortable for you, whatever you feel most comfortable sniping with and more consistent with, drag scoping is very easy on controller because of that aim assist slowdown. Now the next tip I'm going to give you guys is centering. Now, centering, in my opinion, is pretty self-explanatory. So all centering is, is you see that white crosshair in the middle of my screen. Everybody has it. Basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put that onto your enemy or whatever target you have. And before you scope in, you want to make sure that that white dot is centered with that target. So if I was going to run over here to the bots, I got shot up top. As you can see, I'm trying to get my white crosshair on the bot. Just like that. All you do, run up to your target, center, center, center. It's very simple. In my opinion, centering is so crucial in my opinion because it takes less time away from you actually having to correct yourself. See, just like that. 
All you do, put the white crosshair right in the middle. And in my opinion, it's so much better than drag scoping because drag scoping, you're doing a lot more before you kill the bot or before you kill the enemy. It takes a lot of time to drag scope. Like if I were to just run over and do that, I'm already getting shot at. So if you can just have your crosshair ready over the person and just pop shot, in my opinion, that is one of the most crucial things that you could do while sniping. All right, now we're really getting into the good stuff, guys. So as you guys have known, I'm assuming quite a bit of you have seen some of my videos. I get accused of cheating a lot. And I promise you, I don't cheat. I don't do anything to give me a certain type of edge on everybody. I literally just play the game how it is. So what this tip's going to be is it's going to be crosshair placement and pre-aiming. So basically, as simple to put it, is put your crosshair where you think their head or their chest is going to be if they were going to run around a corner. So basically, if I were to go to mid-map over there, I would always have my crosshair prepared to shoot whoever's coming by. Because a lot of people don't realize in these games, the time to kill is so fast. It is so fast and... You don't have time to make adjustments. You really don't. So you always want your crosshair to be around head level and where you think they're going to peek around the corner. Every corner you're wanting to do that. See, as you can see right there, I went into this room looking like this, knowing that there might be somebody right there just like that. And as soon as I ran over here, I had it looked into where I either had to go that way or that way. All you want to do is make predictions. That's all really sniping is, is predicting when they're going to come around the corner or how they're going to come around the corner, how fast, because you're going to see people jump around corners and it's going to be pretty hard to hit. So sometimes you're going to be having your crosshair like right here, because if somebody were to run and jump around the corner and you were aiming right here, you're gonna have to drag scope and you're probably gonna lose that fight. So pre-aiming and crosshair placement, guys, is so crucial. Just always keep your crosshair head level or chest level and where you think somebody might be. As you can see, peeking around the corner, just like that, nobody there. Peek around the corner, there's a guy there. If I run over here, keep the crosshair up top. Yep, just like that, just like that, just like that. It's very simple, but a lot of people forget to do it, and it's something that can tremendously improve your sniping skills, or just gaming skills in general. Okay guys, so for this next tip, in my opinion, this is the number one most important thing that you would need to know for sniping. Or not even just sniping, that's just playing video games in general. You need to know spawns. You need to have spawn knowledge, and you need to have map layout knowledge. So. The way you do this, in my opinion, this is the easiest way that I learn spawn knowledge. I play hardpoint and or headquarters majority of the time. Every single time I play a game and I'm sniping, I like to have an objective. So basically, all you're going to do is remember where you respawn and which objective you respawned at. So I'm going to die by this bot. And now I'm going to remember with that objective over there. With the objective right here, I this is a spawn right here. So now I know that when I'm playing in a public match, if I kill some people over here and there's all my team is on this side of the map, there's a high possibility that I'm going to spawn right here. That's all you need to know. You don't need to be the best sniper in the world. You don't need to be a face scope. You don't need to be, you know, all the craziest snipers in the world. The best way... For you to get amazing at sniping is game sense. Game sense is so relied on in video games now because when it comes to sniping and they're just playing respawn modes, spawn traps are the main source of people getting a bunch of kills and all that stuff. All you do is spawn trap. See, I kill those guys right there. I know they're probably gonna spawn over here. Seriously, guys, that is the most important tip I could give anybody that's a beginner or not even a beginner, even if you've been sniping for 12 years and you struggle at times still, 
you just need to know map knowledge and you need to know spawn knowledge. It's very simple. It, you don't even have to 100% memorize. You just got to know where your team is located at all times and where there's an empty part of the map because most likely they're going to spawn over on that empty part of the map. You don't have to know the exact spawns, but you got to know where in about they're going to spawn. So the next thing we're going to talk about, guys, is your sensitivity strictly on controller right now. So for controller sensitivity, all it basically is is finding how fast you want to look around and how fast you can control. I see so many clips where people put their sensitivity to something too high and when they're looking around, they're doing this. And they're like looking, they're trying to freaking snipe just like that and they're looking up and down. So you want to find a sensitivity where you can consistently look all directions and you have it comfortable to you. For me on this game, it's about 14 sensitivity, 15 sensitivity. If I wanted to, I could play max sense, but personally, I think it's a little too quick for me in this game. This feels almost perfect for me. And the way you're going to do that, guys, is just literally go into bots, just like I'm doing right now. I have a team full of bots going against me, and just do your best to just get your shot down. A lot of people, they think that you could just hop into a game now and you get a certain amount of settings and you're going to play good. It's not how it works, guys. You need to practice. And the best way to do that, find a sensitivity you're somewhat comfortable with. Go into bots for, I don't know, 150, 200 kills and just sit there and just mess with your sensitivity. Do some 360s, practice drag scoping, practice just centering. Do everything you can do to get comfortable with that sensitivity and I promise you will see results very quick. All right, now I know a lot of you guys want me to go over it. Keyboard and mouse. As you guys know, I play keyboard and mouse and I play controller. I switch through both. A lot of my clips you guys see your keyboard and mouse and a lot of my clips are also controller. I'd like to think I'm pretty consistent on both. I like to have that knowledge on both just because of videos like this. And also, you know, sometimes you get called out and people say, oh, you can't do that on controller and then I'll do it on controller. Oh, you can't do that on KBAM. So believe me, guys, what I'm telling you guys are personally things that I've used to improve myself and everything like that. So first thing we're going to go over is your sensitivity. Sensitivity, like I said, it's all a personal preference, but if you guys want to copy my settings, I run 5 sensitivity, 0.9 ADS sensitivity multiplier, and the way you get comfortable with your sense is you find an object, just like this telephone, walk up to it, and just consistently try to 360. One swipe on your mouse pad, 360, try to get there as close as possible. Whichever one you feel most consistent with is probably the sensitivity that you should run. Now, why do I have a 0.9 ADS sensitivity? It's because personally, I enjoy my sensitivity not to be one-to-one. -one. A lot of KBAM users like one-to-one, -one, and I respect it if you do. But personally, I like having that little slowdown. As you guys know, I came from controller. So controller, you're used to having the aim assist slowdown. So I like having more control when I'm scoped in. Now, for those guys who are wanting my keybinds and stuff, my keybinds, honestly, they're nothing really crazy. They're basically all default, except I use C to prone and to slide and to crouch and do all that. I use E to swap my weapons, and my lethal equipment is just middle mouse button. Now, we're going to go over sniping on KBAM, and in my opinion... The only way you should snipe on KBAM, which obviously you know there's plenty of other ways, is just centering your shot. Always get always get the white dot over the enemies at the exact same time and then just scope in. My opinion in my opinion, drag scoping on KBAM, very hard to do, very inconsistent. So what you want see like right there, I'm trying to drag scope a guy that's two feet in front of me and I can't do it. So, in my opinion, the only way you should be sniping is centering and then scoping in. Putting your white dot over the enemy, scoping in, and then shooting. And you have so much more control on keyboard and mouse that 
you should be able to do this pretty easily if you find a sensitivity that you really enjoy. Now, warming up for KBAM, it's a little difficult. A lot of people, they like to do aim labs and stuff. I don't like to do that stuff anymore. I basically just, like I said, I make sure that my sensitivity feels right. I was off there. I haven't been playing KBAM today, but I make sure my sensitivity feels right. Get to the same area every single time with one swipe, and you should be good. And then just hop into bots for 100, 150 kills, and then you're, you're chilling. All right, now to end off this video, guys, we're going to talk about training your aim, training your sniping skills, doing everything you can to just consistently be improving. And I can't stress this enough, guys. Utilize private match. There's so many games out there where there's no, there's a private match, but you can't get bots or anything. Utilize private match. You don't even need to make the bots a certain level. All you need to do is get them on recruit, just like I'm doing, and practice just shooting just literally just get your hands warm 360 360 between each kill freaking center your shots drag scope do all of that even if you want i know scope told me to do this back in bo4 days well bo4 is you had no aim assist either way but back in bo4 days he used to say he'd always turn off aim assist and practice his centering in private match for like I don't know 10 15 minutes before he hopped on so you just need to keep practicing you just need to go into private match do this every single day before you hop on 200 kills 250 kills shoot if you even want to go 500 kills before you go into a public match and you start sniping online just go into a private match and just have fun for a little bit you don't even have to be super strict about a routine all you have to do is just mess around and get comfortable with your sensitivity for the day. Now guys, with all that being said, I hope some of these tips helped you guys. And if you guys need any more, put a comment down and I usually reply to most of my comments. Please, please, please let me know if I missed anything. Personally, all of these tips I use and I use to get to the sniping the way I am today. Basically, I mean, you've heard it before. All you need to do is practice, but in my opinion, there's some tips in here that I put out that you guys probably haven't heard before or you've heard a lot of people talk about but never really explain to you what they are. But guys, with that being said, I really do hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope these tips help you guys out. Please, please, please leave a comment if you, I missed anything or if you guys have any questions. But with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Kill Modern Warfare 2 for me. Peace.